And we're hopping right back in with another match. I'm very excited. Let's see how this goes. So right off the back, I don't like any of these units. If I had a pig, I guess the pig is pretty strong. And I'll take... Uh, this is kind of bad. But I don't think I have a choice. Those are lucky hits. I'll be the super auto pets. And my opponent is what is his name no 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 it's dmj05338 so good luck to you i'm playing the weekly pack right now so i'm pretty excited uh the early game in this pack is pretty mid but if it's mid for everybody then that's okay that first one is really huge i do not care for this this is a strong unit is the hp buff worth waiting This is a tough call to make. So I can wait for the HP buff. And then it gives plus two, plus two to one random friend, right? Or two random friends get plus two, plus two. I don't think it's worth waiting for, even though it would be a strong buff. Beautiful. The worst target. I'll freeze you. And I think this was the correct play. But we'll have to see. I think this would be even better. We'll see. Because I'm guessing he's going to move something so that it soaks up this hit more. I was completely wrong and I got screwed by it. I can't believe he went for a level up on the otter so early. I don't think that that was the correct play. This is fine. And then we combine you two. And I think I want to take the puppy here. And the owl stat line is really competitive, especially early on. I'll freeze you. The peach is really strong. I'll freeze the swan and end my turn. And let's see. So you'll fight him and him. Then they're going to have a 4-4 four, four out. I'll fight it with you. Then I'll go from there. And I'll see how my opponent will play around this. It's a really good trade on my part. Ah, I'm slightly not there. But I think... Selling you... Buying this and putting it on you. I think this this is correct because I want to sell the pig. I don't want to buff it any further. But if it did have two attack, it could deal with this peacock, which would be really nice. I'm definitely selling you. Unfortunately, the flamingo, which is a faint pet, is not what I need right now. I can go for the extra attack on you, and then you double trade still, right? Be really strong. I should have bought the otter first if I was going to buy it. I think I'm just going to go for buffs on the owl. Is that correct? I could also find a coconut or a fried shrimp. That would be really strong. Let's do that. I'm not going to buy you. Nope. Oh my gosh, I did find the fried shrimp. And now I have a competitive stat line that can one hit the peacock. And I can start buffing this. So I think that that was correct. That's huge. I still lose this, but I'm doing really good right now. Or at least I think I am. Sell you. Double buff you. I'm going completely on this owl right now. Buy you. Buy you. And I think if I take toilet paper, I should be okay. Sell you. Buy you. I can sell the pig. And I will. I'll definitely sell the pig for this. What the heck? Definitely taking you. I think this is a rare scenario where I don't take the swan yet, even though it'd be good because now I can get a llama going. And normally I wouldn't want to go for a squad with this type of team. But I think that for this scenario, it's okay. This is a really weird scenario that I'm in. It's a good one, but I did not expect for this to happen. I didn't think that four squatting was too good, but I mean, this is just too good of an opportunity. Uh, if I hit another Llama, that's, in that's insane. I go double Llama here every time. 
get rid of you, buy you, sell you, buff the owl. Then I go salad bowl because I'm happy with whoever it hits. I go cucumber on you because there's no a skunk, right? There's only stinky sock. Roll again. Freeze you, and then I take this build to the moon. This is such a weird build, but it is incredibly powerful. I can also consider lollipopping these llamas. I could just level the llamas too, but I think that this is fine. I might just be able to hit a level 3 owl, which would be insane for a weekly that struggles so hard with scaling. I think if I get the level up on the llama, I should still do it. Just because the llama will scale a little too slow. I mean, it is passive, which can be nice. It went from a 2.5 to a 4.9 already. That's tough to say what the right choice is. I think it also just got hit by a salad, right? That's so good. And then I take the double owl again. I sell you. Just buff the owl again, it's fine. There are better foods that I can hit. I buy you, sell you, level the owl. And I don't think I need those units. And man, I am set. I am set to the races. I probably should have frozen Pi. Pi is really strong this weekly. But I mean, I just kind of want food buffs. I think I can close out the game before he can get a chance to really counter my owl. And then I also just have two passive scalers working. He's only going to have four squad, which I think if you're in this tricky of a situation, you need to consider going five squad here. And even then, how do you beat it, right? Like you go five squad, you hit this, you go stinky sock, you go for a level two one if you can. Because otherwise I'm just going to outvalue you. He got a level 2 Llama. That is pretty scary. But I'm getting plus 3, plus 3. I could go for a second big unit. Which isn't a bad idea. The Donkey can also be really strong in this position. I think I just roll here. How do I have 15 gold? Oh, because I sold a, a level 3. Uh, I get it. Put this on you. I think I level you. And then... I don't care for any of you. Let's just go three squad for a turn. I think that this is okay. Nice. That's still extremely good. I need to make sure that this doesn't outpace me. So I cannot get greedy. I will buy you. I'll buff you. I'll buy you, sell you. Buff you. That's a really good unit. You're at 2 HP, right? Keep the crane. Buy you for now. And next turn, I'm going to put a crane behind you. There's no need for me to not just keep what's going on right now. But if I struggle next turn, I can just throw a crane behind it. And that should be GG. I'll, I'll neglect some of the effects, but it'll be okay at this point. Let's see. A level 3 one. That's really impressive. But I'm going to end that here. Going to keep buffing you, give you some stew, put you behind you. I could consider putting a lollipop on you, but no, there's no need to go drastic. Put a pie on you because we're going for the win here. Put a peach behind you or on you, and I'm happy. And I think that this is game. Yeah. And that's game.
Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's see. Nice.